On Monday, April 8th, most of the United States will see a partial, if not total, solar eclipse. So let's go over the quick stuff first. A solar eclipse is when the moon gets between the Earth and the sun, temporarily blocking the sun out. It's not actually that uncommon. The planet usually gets two total solar eclipses every three years. This time, it just happens to be going across the United States. Now, here in Alabama, we are not in the path of totality for the solar eclipse, but we will be getting around an 80% eclipse of the sun. If you want to go to a place that's going to be in the path of totality, meaning the sun will be completely blocked out. The closest place to us is probably Arkansas, but I'm going to warn you, I've got family in the path of totality, and the word is that if you haven't already booked a hotel room, you are probably not going to get one. But if you want to stick around and watch it at home in Alabama, it's going to get started a little after 12 p.m. and wrap up a little after 3 p.m. Though the big show is going to be around 2-ish. I can't give you an exact to the minute time because Alabama is a big state, so the height of the eclipse will be at 154 in Mobile, but 2 p.m. in Birmingham. NASA made a tool on its website that lets you just put your zip code in, and it will give you the exact details of the eclipse for wherever you're at, including the weather. If you are interested, check that. Uh, all right, basically, rules for an eclipse. Do not look directly at the sun. If you want to see the eclipse, you need to get a special device or special glasses. And not just regular sunglasses. My wife got us these things and they are harder to see through than a welder's mask. Just remember, directly staring at the sun for any length of time is bad for your eyes, so be careful. I'm going to try to get some video from the Path of Totality from my family on the day, and hopefully we'll have that on AL.com. But me, myself, I plan on kicking back with my camera on the roof of the AL.com building and getting a nice shot of the eclipse on the Birmingham skyline. It's supposed to be nice outside. Anyway, that should be it. Eclipse Monday afternoon in Alabama. I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for AL.com.